Hey everybody, Dallas Stone here again, and today we are going to continue with what I was doing last time, which is now moving this asset, this axe, into ZBrush. So, let's get this going. So I have four parts to this asset. I have the chain, the blade, the handle, and the head. And I'm going to... Okay, now first I'm just going to kind of show you... I'm going to do this. So we need to make sure that we have our settings set up and our plugin manager that the OBJ exporter is actually loaded up. It is. We're good to go. So chain, I'm going to go export selection. Make sure that so right now it's on FBX. You want it to be OBJ exporter. This should be okay. Should be no problems here. Uh, in, in scenes, I'm going to change, I'm going to go up a ladder, I'm going to new folder, I'm going to go meshes. Meshes, alright. And in meshes, I'm going to go uh, chain, low poly. Alright. LP stands for low poly, that's how I do it. You can put low, low probably is better. I should probably change mine to low, I'll do that. Uh, so this is now blade low. Okay, so it's definitely better. I take it back. Chain low. Blade low. Blade low. OBJ. Um, and then handle. OBJ. And a lot of you are probably wondering why I use OBJ, uh, I think. Or at least for me, it's always been more consistent than FBX when working in in ZBrush. So that's why I do it. Uh, you're going to hear a bunch of noises on my laptop. I have my laptop here processing my other videos. So that's why it's, it's making all these noises. noises. I'm just going to mute it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't. I really don't want you guys to hear weird window noises. Okay, so we have all that going on. Load up ZBrush. Uh, we're gonna go to mo uh, Poly Mesh 3D. Okay, this is really important. And then I'm gonna import in the uh, the pieces. So public was this or axe? I think it was axe. Dragon Steel meshes. I'm gonna go blade low first. So there's the blade. Cool. T on it. Cool, cool, cool. Right. And then we're gonna go back to poly mesh again. I don't know why this does this. Okay, so don't don't uh, don't ask me why it does this, but that's what you have to do. Okay. And then I'm gonna continue doing this with Okay, so with the sub tool, all I have to do is I have to um, I just have to, where is that? I have to just, normally I just uh, add here, insert, that's what it is. So I can just insert, Ooh, that uh, scared me there. Insert, chain, right? I was like, man, this is, did I forget how to do this? No, 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 I'm good, I'm good guys, I'm good. So I'm going to go back to Polymesh again, uh, import, handle. And again, this is why it's so important to continuously practice software that maybe like, I mean, I've said this many times, I don't, uh, it's been a while since I've actually like done a full on asset in ZBrush like this. It's been a really long time. So it's really important to keep up your skills, right? So Polymesh, import head low and now we have the head low go back to the three insert head low okay so now we have our our axe there it is okay so this is now in ZBrush and ready for us to start working on it so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna save this tool out 
okay so when you save a tool because um, now this is essentially a tool right this all these sub tools make up this tool so ZBrush just works a little bit different I'm not gonna go through all the theory stuff because I'm assuming you guys already know all of it and if you don't then you might want to take a look at that kind of stuff I'm gonna call this my ZBrush folder and I'm gonna call this the name of the project so I'm gonna call this axe uh, dragon steel all right so uh, so yeah that that is pretty much the video here guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed that this is a little quicker video just to kind of how to import your assets into ZBrush and then we'll get into some more of the fun stuff uh, in the next video